Get your next act on up. Are you ready for your next act? Yeah. All right. Please welcome Thomas Terrell. How y'all doing tonight? Make some noise. Make some noise. All right, all right. Let me clear some things up. I see the confused look on y'all faces. I am black. I know you heard Thomas Terrell throw, oh, hey, another white guy. Oh, this is the dark part of the show. The only dark part of the show. How y'all doing? All right, good, good, good. I'm good. I'm excited to be out. Uh, man, the price of living is going up but the chance of living is going down. <laughs> you know, and I'm just so happy, first of all, that Trump is out of president. I see a lot of, uh, <laughs> And actually, I can't even believe that Trump even became president, y'all, after the allegations that he liked to grab women by the private. <laughs> you would think women wouldn't even vote for this man, right, women? Right. right. Wrong, y'all still voted for him. They interviewed a few of the women. They interviewed woman of the year at the time, you know, Caitlyn Jenner, the one who killed Bruce Jenner for manslaughter. <laughs> she said she wouldn't mind if Trump grabbed her by the private. He'll probably have a ball. <laughs> or two. I was like, that's nuts. But what makes things even more nuttier is when they interviewed the lady who got caught up with the Clintons, Monica Lewinsky. Y'all remember her? Yeah. She said she wasn't voting for the Clintons because they already left a bad taste in her mouth. <laughs> we living in a world where everybody wants the, you know, everybody wants the truth, but nobody can handle the truth. And you know, I got my beautiful mother here tonight, y'all. Clap it up for my mother. You know, I was going to talk about my mama behind her back, but I guess I got to do it to her face. She always taught me to tell the truth, y'all, but she got mad when I told the truth. My parents were like this, and we grew up Christian. Christian's supposed to take the truth. So she going to tell me, you know, she used to try to embarrass me, y'all. So she would tell my teachers that me and my sisters had ADD. I was like, yep, all different daddies. <laughs> and my father, he was a deacon in the church. He was always grateful to God that God spared his life because while he was in the military, he lost his arm. So he dedicated his life to God, y'all. So. He would always get up in front of the congregation and sing the Black National Anthem in church, which is, precious Lord, take my hand. I said, poor guy don't even know that God already answers his prayers. <laughs> which had me thinking, you know, which had me thinking. I wonder, do y'all think Jesus got beaten for telling the truth as a kid? Like, for instance, sir, let's say Joseph. Getting Jesus ready for bath time, getting him ready for bed, right? And he's trying to wash him up. Jesus playing, walking on the water. <laughs> and, and he say, sit down, Jesus, so I can wash you up. And he looked Joseph in the eye and say, you're not my daddy. <laughs> Man. COVID, I've been getting closer to God, man. I've been getting closer to God. I've been losing a lot of good people. You realize all the good people died, but the bad people still living? Man, I got an aunt, she just won't go. <laughs> man, she done survived the DC sniper, cancer, and everything. We was voting for COVID. COVID ain't win. <laughs> But I've been, getting, I've been getting closer to God, and I take Jesus everywhere I go. You know, when you call Jesus, he'll just pop up. Especially for a black man, we need Jesus because getting pulled over by the police can be a scary situation, y'all. Because it's three ways that this could go down. Now, if it's two white cops, leave everything in your pockets because you going to jail. <laughs> now, if it's two black cops, cool. They don't want to do the paperwork. But if it's a white cop and a black cop, 
this when it get a little funny, y'all. Because for some reason, the black cop always want to outdo the white cop. So, two things you notice about me, I'm skinny and I'm fashionable. Two things that don't work out in jail. So I'm scared of jail. I had to do all my time standing up against the wall and squinch. I ain't that strong, I had to twist it over. I, I ain't that strong. So the police pulled me over because I was swerving. And I know the real reason he pulled me over because he seen me and Jesus in the car, two black men having a good time. <laughs> So he pulled me over because I was swerving. He said, are you drunk? I said, no, officer. You know, I'm just in the spirit with Jesus. He said, well, if you so much in the spirit, what's in that red cup? I said, it's water, officer. Y'all, before I can say anything else, he reaches over me, grab the cup, smell it. He said, this ain't water, this wine. I say, look at Jesus. He done did it again. <laughs> My name is Thomas Terrell. God bless y'all. Good night.